Guys, in today's tutorial, we're going to be uh, looking at the special low pass filters. And I got plenty of content on the way today. So let's get started. We'll start with the Moog. The Moog is basically an emulation of the Moog that, uh, Moog Ladder Pass filter. Um, I advise that you probably use some a little bit of grit to kind of get the saturation that the synth has. It's good for leads, I'd say. Um, really good for leads and basses for those talking little basses. Without the drive. And, uh, you cannot throw any analog in it. I guess you can, actually. Some moogie sound. You can use this for a ton of things. If you want those vintage, like, moog bases that that's your that's your thing then you'll like the LP Moog which is the low pass Moog. Next we have the LP FM. Now this has a bit of FM within it. The amount of a uh, rezo you have makes it a lot more sharper. Let's get started. Really, uh, fuzz. It's kind of a bit of a rough bass right there. And this just basically feeds FM within the signal. Well, analog makes it a bit more fat. Let's uh let's put two in a series, see what that does. So, uh, you can make the hard basses, some plucky sounds of this. Throw a little fuzz or tube on it to make it sound a bit more rough. Um, oops. <laughs> and that's about it for the FM filter. I advise if you're making complex basses, use it. Next, we have the shape. The shape is pretty good. It's a digital low pass, as you may tell. The analog doesn't do anything. Now, this has a shaper, which is uh, this, built right into it. Not much of an effect, but uh, you get some good sounds out of it. Is this for leads? Um, now let's try 
both the LP shape and the FM in a series together. advise you to just play around with these with with other sounds instead of using the basic uh, 12, 18, 24 decibel in the digital you can get a lot of good good results and this is it for my special low pass filter section see you in my next video